the album, the book, and the film by Horde of Two is called I Knew I Was a Rebel Then, which are words spoken by the Spanish anarchist and anti-fascist Buenaventura Deruti. Now, Deruti was born to a working class family, and as he was growing up, he, uh, he witnessed the, the poverty and the misery and the oppression all around him, and it led him to become a rebel and an anarchist and a revolutionary. When the Spanish Civil War broke out in 1936, Deruti was there and he led a 3,000 strong militia that was instrumental in blocking the advances of the fascist armies of Franco. Unfortunately, Deruti died early in the Spanish Civil War. Over half a million people turned out to his funeral. One of the things that's so compelling about Deruti is that while he was fighting fascism in Spain, he was also trying to put into practice the principles and ideas of anarchism, such as uh, workers operating their workplace in a democratic fashion, that citizens would not go hungry and would not be without shelter and would have medical care that they needed and, and that people would act collectively for the greater good and act cooperatively. And in many parts of Spain during the Spanish Civil War, this indeed is what happened. And it was a vision of a new world, a better world, where there was equity among the people who lived there. And so this is a very rare moment in the 20th century. It's ironic that as Deruti was trying to uh, work for the, the, the collective good of all in Spain and, uh, and uh, trying to create a more equitable world, uh, at the same time, we see the rise of authoritarianism and fascism across Europe, such as uh, uh, Franco in Spain and Mussolini in Italy and Hitler in Germany. Uh, as well, there were fascist parties all across Europe, including in Britain, which had the Union of British Fascists. And in America, they had the uh, uh, German-American Bund, which had tens of thousands of, uh, of members and uh, wanted to see a Third Reich in America. Um, and of course, out of all of that, we, we see uh, the result was the devastation of the Second World War. So fast forward to today, and once again, we see the rise of authoritarianism and fascism across the world. And, uh, and uh, in America, of course, we have the Republican Party, which has completely embraced authoritarianism and a cult leader. Um, and, uh, and with Deruti, his, the life of Deruti, we really saw as a symbol of all of those who have fought and will fight against fascism. And our album is really uh, a, a celebration of those brave, heroic people. So we were almost finished the album and then we heard from Dennis at Shrimper Records that he was interested in releasing it, but he wanted to do a special project with Mark from Bamboo Dark Press and they wanted to do a combination CD chapbook release. Well, we didn't have a chapbook at that point, so David and I leapt to action and we created a chapbook and it's two intertwined stories. One is about the recording of the album and the long process of the, that recording. The other part of the story, or the other inter intertwined story, is called The Runner, about a woman finishing a marathon. And she is so slow and so late that she finishes the marathon and nobody is left at the finish line to see her accomplishment. And we did this to connect with themes of triumph and defeat that also reflect to Rudy's life. It's not a smooth thing. It, it's a combination of defeat and success, defeat and success, hopefully over the longer term, moving towards the goal of a better world. And that's what we wanted to capture. Those are the themes in this whole project. So the way David and I typically play music together is that we like to improvise. And so for our previous al album, we put on a film noir on TV with the sound off and we we're improvising to the film 
and it helped us create a structure so the music would get more intense or it would get more melancholy in response to the film and that was how we we recorded our first album for the second album we also improvised together but instead we packed up all of our, our equipment our guitars and our amps and recording equipment and we went to one of the golf islands here in bc and it was March, it was rainy, nobody was there, so it was very quiet, and we rented a cabin and we just set everything up, and we recorded over the long weekend, over a long weekend, and so we, I was using a four track at that time, and we just had a stack of tapes, and we would hit play on the recorder, and we would improvise around a musical sketch that David created over Daruti's life. And so we had a basic structure, and then the rest of it was just improvised over those few days, and we came home, with the stack of tapes completely recorded. So mixing was an intense process because we'd recorded so many tapes. So first I had to get the taped uh, recorded material into my computer and then we had to listen to hours of the improvisation to figure out what the best parts were. And the first version of Daruti was like an hour long and then we gradually edited it down to 30 minutes and then eventually to 22 minutes, which is where it is now. And throughout that whole process, we, were, we had the sections originally in the order that David had written them in the chronology of Drudy's life. So birth, prison, death, for example. And then we realized that musically some of those sections weren't working. So we ended up changing the chronology and the death section actually ended up in the middle and the prison section ended up at the end. And then once we had all the segments together, we needed to record overdubs, we needed to record transitions between the segments so they all sounded like they were linked together.
my earliest years, the first thing that I saw was suffering. Intuitively, I had already become a rebel. I think my fate was determined then. Sit down. 